Today I'm going to talk about the GWX control panel. It's a utility that disables the Get Windows 10 icon on Windows 7 and Windows 8. I wrote this program for people who aren't ready to upgrade to Windows 10 yet, but also don't want to be pestered by the Get Windows 10 app that pops up uh, reminders from the notification area. So this is a simple tool for non-technical users who just want an easy way to turn off the notifications. So here's how to use it. First, let's go to uh, ultimateoutsider.com. All right, and then click Software to get to our Downloads page. If you scroll down, you'll see the GWX control panel here. You can either click the title or the download link here. Either one will work. I'm going to click Save and View Downloads. And then I'm going to open up uh, my Downloads folder. And I'll close Internet Explorer there. First, let's uh, launch the program. Now, if you have the user account control feature of Windows enabled, you'll probably see a dialog box that asks, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer? You should click yes if you see that. If you don't see that dialog, it means you don't have user account control enabled. Okay, the next screen that you'll see is the end user license agreement. So in order to continue, let's accept the agreement and click continue. All right, and now we're at the main screen. The first thing that we see inside GWX control panel is the uh, first line um, is get Windows 10 app running. And what this means is simply, you know, is the icon visible in your notification area? And there it is. The second line is the app enabled. This indicates whether Windows is actually configured to show you the icon every time you start up and to pop up the notifications, uh, the reminders. So in our case, the app is both running, you can see the icon, and it's enabled, meaning it's going to come back after we restart Windows, even if we close the icon. So we have a couple of things that we can do here. The close button will let us temporarily remove the icon. So if I click this, you can see the icon disappears. And uh, it won't bother us you know, for the, for the time being, but it can potentially come back up in this Windows session. And even after you restart your computer, it'll come back up again. When it's temporarily closed like that, we can force the icon to come back by clicking Start. And uh, that brings the icon back. Now, if we want to make a permanent change, if we want Windows to stop bugging us about Windows 10, we can click Disable the Get Windows 10 app. I can do that here. So that removes the icon, but also configures Windows, so it won't uh, bother us about Windows 10 again. Um, now, in the future, if you ever want to upgrade to Windows 10, you can come back to GWX control panel. You can click Enable Get Windows 10 app. It'll bring the icon back. And uh, you can click it and go to the uh, Get Windows 10 information. So uh, GWX control panel does not break the upgrade functionality. It just sort of gives you control over it. So I'm going to disable it again here. And uh, the final button in the program is display the user guide. And if we click that, that will open up your default web browser to the Ultimate Outsider blog. Specifically, it opens up the um, user guide for GWX control panel. And uh, in addition to just instructions and detailed um, descriptions of the different controls in the program, this also answers you know, some frequently asked questions about the program and um, will also give you detailed information about updates like the different versions that are released. So be sure to check here if you're um, interested in, in updates and whatnot. So um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thank you for your time.